Hi everyone, sorry about my camera, just bear with it. It takes a minute to adjust as I put the cards down. Um, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting from you guys lately. It really means a lot to me. Um, as always, especially for those of you that are new, I just want to reiterate that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will be for you. Some of these will be your energy group and some of them won't be your energy group. So only take the readings that resonate. Never try to force a reading to fit. Let's see what the story is for someone out there. We have the star, temperance, strength. Hmm, give me a minute here to see what this is. I paused to look at it for a minute and see what I could channel. So I'm hearing the phrase song, never say never. It's like, you can never say never. Don't let me go. Um, I'm also seeing the scene. So like, that's, that's part of how I channel. That's part of how my spirit guides communicate with me is through like songs and movie clips. And you know, those of the, that have been with me for a while, like you guys know, like as I do readings, I'll like throw random songs or random like TV series clips out there or whatnot that are like channeled messages and I don't know if any of you watch Vampire Diaries, but I'm seeing the scene where Elena kisses Damon um, for the first time when it's, it's like at the hotel and she's just like, fuck it. And she just, you know, goes after him and it's like really passionate. Like I'm seeing that that energy because what I'm feeling from this with the star and the temperance and the strength is that someone can't resist you any longer or you can't resist in someone any longer and you're the one giving into this passion, into this, this lustful energy, this romance, you know, it's not necessarily a bad energy, but it's like someone's caving. Someone's giving into this passion is what I'm feeling. Someone is tired of, it's like nothing's moving between you guys. Like you guys have feelings for each other or could even be very sexual, could be a combination of things, but it's, it's like nothing's moving. Like you're not saying anything, they're not saying anything. So take it as it resonates, whether it's you giving in or whether it's this person giving in. I just get like a very impatient energy, like the star, like someone was trying to be grounded and balanced and logical and the temperance card, someone was trying to, you know, strength card is like about taming it's like someone's not speaking on something like they're taming their passions and desires. They're trying to focus elsewhere. And I just feel like that energy is not, they're bored with that energy. Like it's not getting them to where they want to go. Um, tell me about this. Page of clubs, ace of swords, king of pentacles. Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords. Interesting. Give me a minute, guys. So many swords and cups. Such chaotic energy here. <laughs> you got some offers coming in. You've got Ace of Swords. You've got Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Fuck. you got Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> I feel like if you're trying to make someone jealous, it's working. What is this energy here? It's so strange. I, I feel like it almost feels like they were waiting for you to make a move. It's like they were like nothing was happening, but they were trying to be strong and patient and balanced. But I think something I feel like with the truth with the ace of swords, I feel like they had some epiphany here. They may even be realizing that a new man is going to come in and sweep you off your feet if they don't get it together. Like, I almost feel it's like they were very prideful and stubborn and they were waiting for you to make the first move. Like they they weren't stepping up. They weren't doing anything. And I almost feel like they're they're starting to recognize that you're losing interest in them. Like, even if you had very real feelings for this person, it's like you're you're the queen of swords. You're starting to lose interest because you don't just want the emotional offer. I mean, you do want an emotional offer, don't get me wrong, but it's not enough for you 
to it, it, like the Queen of Swords is very logical. So it's it's not enough for this person for you to just sit there and be like, oh, this person like does care about me or love me deep down, but they're just not able to commit. They're just not able to offer me anything solid. You know what I mean? Like you want the emotions, you want the deep emotional connection, but you also want the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. You want loyalty, stability. You want someone that's actually going to offer you that pinnacle, offer you something that you can feel, that you can see, that you can touch, you know, because this Ace of Cups to me almost just feels like a fantasy. And I feel like this Queen of Swords is turning away from that. She's like, I don't give a shit how deep our emotional bond is. I don't care how, you know, if we have this amazing spiritual bond, if you're not giving me something in the physical world, like you're not texting me, you're not responding to my messages. You're not putting yourself out there. You're not asking me on a date. Like you're not doing anything. Then this this energy to her is she's thinking like this is just a fantasy. This is just potential. It's it's not real. It's not solid. I want something real. I want something solid. I want, you know, like like it's not. <laughs> It's not enough for her to just just be like, oh, yeah, we have this deep connection, but he's not expressing it. He's not asking me out. He's not texting me. He's not he's not making any moves towards me. You know, I, I feel like this person is recognizing, too, that you're wanting the pinnacle. You're wanting something in the physical world. I, I think that they can kind of sense that you're losing interest or that you're just turned off by their inability to really take action towards you like you're not you're not trying anymore I almost feel like this person wanted to play hard to get or they wanted to um focus on themselves like they wanted to be chased they wanted to be in the feminine energy in this relationship and I don't think you're having that you're like no I'm I'm not doing that no no thank you like like this queen of swords is like no fuck that like I I want I want to be pursued. I want someone that messages me back. I want to go on dates. I want someone I can actually talk to in the physical world. I, again, I want something I can feel and see and touch, something that's right in front of my face, not something that's just a fantasy or just potential. Um, I think this person is having this epiphany that like, Nothing is going to move between the two of you. Like you guys are just going to be at this stalemate at this like crossroads until they make a move. Because I really kind of felt like they thought that they could focus on themselves and play hard to get. And I, I think that they felt like that would um, like maybe they're used to insecure girls or something like that. Maybe they thought that you would... Um, want them more if they did that if they played those games if if you if you chase if if they did that they thought you would chase them and I think now they're recognizing that you're actually getting turned off by that energy like you don't resonate with someone being emotionally unavailable you're like no thank you like I want someone who actually reciprocates my energy I want someone who messages me first um they could be used to like crazy bitches too, honestly. Like they, they, this, this man could be used to women where it's like, I don't know if he likes the drama or if he's used to it or what it is, but it, it's almost, and we got that energy recently, oh, sorry. <laughs> we got that energy recently too in one of those readings. So this could even be the same man because I was picking up that energy of, um, I mean, there's like the drug addiction that I was picking up on one of the other readings. Uh, there was also, I don't know if it's the same man, but it was like there was that energy of like someone being the queen of cups and, and this man. This is like a reading I did like a few days or maybe like a little bit more than a few days ago. But it was this this person that like um, saw this woman as like the empress, the queen of cups, like just his ideal woman. But he like wanted to sabotage it and he wanted to justify sabotaging it. So it's like he wanted to trigger her to get a reaction out of her. And I'm almost seeing this two ways because for some, I do feel like it's just one of those like heat of the moment, passionate kind of, you know, that passionate energy I was channeling, like from Vampire Diaries, like that, that first kiss between Elena and Damon at the hotel scene. But for others, I'm also feeling like this is saying this man is tired of being patient. So he's going to try to trigger you to get your reaction because this isn't working. So he's going to try another approach 
And we're going to look into that because he wants his wish fulfillment with you. And he's not getting it this way because I, I like I said, I really feel like he's used to crazy bitches. I, I feel like he thought that he was going to make you jealous or he was going to be quiet and like not give you attention, you know, neglect you, not message you back. And it's almost like he wanted, he thought it was going to trigger you. Like almost like he thought that, you know, like, like a power struggle, like, oh, you have to come to me, you know, like, like, I, I almost felt, I almost feel like, and it, it goes, you know, again, hand in hand with that, that reading I did where it was like, he wanted to prove to himself, he wanted to justify sabotaging this. He, he was like trying to run away from it almost out of fear, fear of commitment, fear of getting hurt, whatever else. And so he was trying to prove to himself that you were just crazy, that you were like every other girl's that, oh my God, that you were like every other girl. Um, because then, cause if you're, you know, we were like, we were getting in that last reading, um, because if he like admits to himself that you really are his ideal person, if you really are this unicorn, this dream girl that he's been, you know, wanting to manifest for so long and you're finally right in front of his face then it's like he has to, you know, accept that and make changes to be with you and like step up and actually make an effort for you. And I felt like almost like he doesn't know how to do that. So he's trying to drag you back down to his level and trying to make himself believe that you're just not as amazing as you seem to be that like, like almost just being very pessimistic, like, oh, I bet this relationship wouldn't be as good as I think it would be. Or I, I bet she's toxic deep down. I bet she's not really a queen of cups. You know, it's going back to that reading that we did where I, you know, check if this resonates with you, I would check that reading um, as well, because you're also probably in that energy group. So it's almost like he was like trying to like trigger you like he whether to sabotage it or to um, <coughs> sorry. Like he just wanted to get a reaction out of you. He wanted you to chase him. I think, I think you not chasing him is kind of what's starting to prove to him that you're not one of those crazy bitches or you're not one of those insecure, naive, innocent little girls that he's used to, you know, because again, I think that those games worked on other women in the past. And so I think those games, like there's certain games or there's certain techniques, like this man is smart. He, he likes, he, he knows how to play it. You know, he's, he's good at playing those games. And I think he just expected those games to work on you the same way they worked on those other women in the past. So it's like making you jealous, like it might upset you, but you're not, you're not going to chase him or try to compete with those other girls and be like, oh, I'm better than her. I can make you happier than her. You're going to look at that and you're going to be like, that really hurts that he's with another girl. That fucking sucks because I want to be with him, but he's a full grown man. He can choose that other woman if he wants to. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I'm not going to force myself into someone's life if they don't want me. Um, and he's really not used to that. He's really like almost like confused by your confidence, by your power, by your energy. Like he doesn't, he doesn't know what to make of you. Like he's not used to that kind of energy that you possess, that kind of, you know, a uh, queen of swords, that like intellect. Um, I'm seeing the scene in, uh, in, in James Bond, which one was it? I think it was Christina Royal. You know, when he's, I forget what her name was, um, Eva Green. I don't know what the character's name was, but you know, when they're on the train and he's like sizing her up and he's, you know, he, he thinks he's all, he's all smug and he's all smart and he's, um, he's reading her and she does it right back to him and he's not expecting it. Like they both are very smart. They both study psychology. Like he, he's expecting her to just be easy, to just give in to him like all these other women have. And she gives his energy right back to him. And it's almost like it turns him on because he's like, oh, shit, like this is my equal. Um, I'm kind of feeling like that kind of like dynamic, like that energy between the two of you where he's like, what do I do with this? I'm not used to this. Like I'm not like I, I don't I'm not used to like the games not working. So I really feel like he 
yeah, he thought that making you jealous or being neglectful or being distant or just focusing elsewhere or playing these games, he thought that it was going to get your attention. He thought you were going to do what those, you know, naive, insecure women from his past did and chase him more and try to prove yourself and try to force your way into his life and try to, you know, convince him to give love a chance. You didn't do any of that. You're like, no, if you don't see my worth, uh, fuck this. I'm like, no, if you don't see what's right in front of your face, I'm, I don't care how I feel about you. I'm, I'm not going to chase you if you don't want me. I'm not going to compete with other girls. If you're choosing another girl, I'm not going to blame that girl. You know, I'm like, I feel like women in his past, like I almost feel like he would set women up to like fight over him. Um, and I feel like with you, you're like, no, I'm not going to blame that other girl. She didn't do anything to me. I'm going to, that's on you. I'm going to blame you. You're the one that's entertaining another woman. That's your choice to make. I'm I'm not going to fight for you if that's your choice. Like, like you're, you're not a crazy bitch. You're, you're not, if, if this man ignores you, you're going to stop texting him. You're not going to, again, like women from his past, like if, if he ignored them, for example, like that's one of the games he might play for, for example, you know, a woman from his past would get upset and just like send him like he would wake up to like 20 text messages from them. Like, where are you? Why haven't you texted me back? Like just panicking. Um, you, you're the opposite. You're going to get turned off. You're going to be like, you're not texting me back. Okay. Bye then. Like, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> like you obviously don't care about me then. Like that's how you're going to view it. You're going to view it from like a very, even if you're very emotional, I feel like in this context, I feel like you're being more logical where you're like, even if I really love this man or care about this man, or even if I really want this man in my life, you're, you're, you don't, you don't take being ignored as like a challenge to prove yourself. You're just like, okay, this man's ignoring me. So he probably doesn't have feelings for me, or he's probably not interested in me. I, you know, no matter how I feel about him, I should probably let him go. So I, I feel like this man is just kind of recognizing that, 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 yeah, those, those games aren't working. It, it all backfired. Like he, he tried so hard to get your attention and he ended up pushing you away and almost turning you into this queen of swords where you're almost like guarded and distant from him now. Like you, you don't feel like he cares about you or you don't trust him. You, um, It's almost like you're so afraid of getting hurt by him at this point that you're not even looking at this ace of cups he's trying to present you. You know what I mean? Like you have this love offer. You're not even really seeing it because you're like, you're so focused on having this sword up because you're like, wow, this man like neglects me or he plays games or he's got other women. Like I gotta, I gotta protect myself. Um, and, and not let my emotions here get the best of me and not let this man hurt me anymore. So I think he's kind of having this epiphany that he's going to have to do things differently with you than he's done with other women. <coughs> Sorry. I think he's also starting to recognize that like you, you want a man that's like, again, like stable and loyal and committed and someone who's actually going to take you on dates and going to have deep conversations with you and travel with you. Like, like you want a real relationship. You're not trying to do the little high school back and forth cutesy games like that's not like you're above that you're not doing that with him so he's realizing that these ways that he tried to get your attention just don't they're not going to work on someone like you tell me more about that I also kind of feel like he he kind of recognizes as well that someone new might be coming in if he doesn't get it together soon you know, because he was like trying to, again, it's like he was trying to pull you in by playing those games and instead he pushed you away. And so I think he has this awareness now that you probably just don't even think that he's interested in you. So you're probably like looking towards the future like, okay, well, I guess I need to manifest somebody new. I guess I need to meet new people. Um, so I think he's starting to panic a little bit there too because he's like, oh shit, like I messed this up. <laughs> Yeah, because he doesn't want you to see this as toxic because he knows that you have options. He knows you got the two pentacles, the empress, the four of swords. This empress is in this like meditative, contemplative mode. He doesn't want you to um 
he's very worried about like what you think of him right now. He's very worried about the thought process. So I almost feel like he doesn't want you to see him as toxic. And I almost feel like he's kind of worried that you're, um, again, because it's like those games didn't work on you. So I, I'm almost, I almost think that he's trying to understand how your mind works now because he's like, wow, like, like, like he wanted that reaction from you. He wanted you to lose your shit over him ignoring you. He wanted you to compete with other women he was trying to make you jealous with. He wanted you to, to, he wanted to drag you into those cycles and make you addicted to him. And most women in his, in his past, again, would go for that. Even if it was like a toxic relationship, they would still go for that. They would still be hooked on that. But now he's realizing that you're genuine and you're confident and so he's like, oh, shit, she's probably going to see that as toxic. Like, she's probably, like, other women that are insecure are okay with that energy. They don't realize it's toxic. They're used to that, you know, because he knows it's toxic deep down. He's smart enough to know that that's, you know, making someone jealous, trying to hurt someone purposely, being a bully. Like, all of that is bullshit. All of those mind games, that's absolute bullshit. And I think part of him knows that. Um, I think part of him knows he's, like, smart enough um, and he has the emotional depth to realize that that is immature of him, but he does it anyway. Um, but I think now, again, now that he's recognizing that your perception is not the same as, as that of like women from his past, he's like, oh shit, what is she going to think of that then? Like I tried to make her jealous with this girl and she didn't like compete and, and try harder and it, it didn't put her, it, it's like he had like this whole plan, like, oh, I'm going to put her in that mentality of, oh, she has to fight for me or she has to prove herself to me or she has to, um, like, like, like I'm going to play hard to get to make her want me more. And it made you want him less. You don't like men that play hard to get. You like men that spoil you. You like men that chase you, that pursue you not chase, but like pursue, you know, like in the sense of like, you like men that message you back, that message you good morning, that take you on dates. Um, so yeah, he's like really concerned with like where your mind is at and like how you're viewing him right now, because he's like, okay, like if that, if those games didn't work on her, it didn't, she didn't have that perception that I'm used to women having. It didn't make her want to try harder. Then he's like, oh shit, what does this empress think of that then? Like, what does she think of the fact that I just try to make her jealous? Or what does she think of the fact that I've been ignoring her and I haven't been messaging her back and she's just stopped messaging me and she's just kind of started giving up instead? Like, she's like, he's, he's kind of thinking about that. He's like, oh shit, like, what is her... He's like really wondering, like, what is her perspective? What is this empress's like perspective on that? Like, like, I hope she doesn't think that I'm just not interested in her. Like, I hope it's like it backfired on him. He's worried you're going to see him as toxic, too. He's worried that you're just going to be like, I'm moving on from this. I'm leaving you out in the cold. Fuck this. I'm going on to have victory and success without you, like leaving you in the dust. Like, I'm going off with a new man or a new career. Like, he's worried about being left behind because, yeah, because you're the queen of cups. It almost feels like a continuation of that reading that we just did. Like, well, I don't know how many days. That was, like, within the last week. Um, just go back on my YouTube channel and just scroll past, like, scroll through a few videos. Like, it's down there somewhere. Um... But yeah, it almost feels like a continuation of that where it's like he was trying to prove to himself and like trigger you and prove to himself that, you know, you couldn't possibly be this queen of cups, this empress, you couldn't be that perfect. And I almost think that you being strong and confident and not giving into the games, you just, you know, you know your worth, you're not going to chase him, you don't do the drama like other women do, you're not... If someone breaks up with you, you're not going to key their car and call their parents and and you know, spam them and spam people with messages. You're not going to do all that. You're going to be like, this really fucking hurts, but this is your loss. Like you, you shouldn't have let go of me and you might want to have a conversation, but you're not going to be a crazy bitch. Like you're not, you know what I mean? Like you're not, you're not one of those like crazy girls. Um, so I almost feel like for some of you, it's like, this is what it took to make this man realize that you are really genuinely the queen of cups. You are really genuinely the empress like you're, you're, you're not letting this man get you out of character. Um, 
So now, whereas before, where he thought this whole relationship, like he was, again, just like convinced that there had to be something wrong with you. He wanted there to be something wrong with you so he could justify being afraid and not pursuing this and sabotaging it. Now it's it's kind of like the tables are turning. Like this is a continuation of that reading where it's like now that he's recognized and, and acknowledged that you are this empress, you are this queen of cups. Now he's actually worried about you seeing him as toxic. Instead of him trying to find reasons as to why you're toxic, he's worried now that you're just going to look at him like he's just an asshole or he's just toxic or just whatever. Um Like all the mind, yeah, all the mind games. He has like a newfound respect for you, though. He was like, he's like, damn, this is like a real woman. Like this woman's not fucking around. He's like, what do I do with her? Like, what do I do with this one? Um, <laughs> I put this up there because there's something more to that too. I need to dig into. So. Mm. Else do I need to know about this? So it's like, yeah, he's panicking. I, I almost feel like he's like, it's almost like he's letting go of, um, I, I feel like he's starting to let go of third parties because it's like he was kind of using them to like make you jealous and then it didn't work. And now he's like, oh shit, like since it's not, since that doesn't work on her, I don't want her to actually like think I'm really dating this other girl or I don't want her to actually think that like I don't care about her. Cause like, and I think that is what you think right now. I think that the Queen of Swords really does have that mentality where I really feel like this woman feels like this man just does not care about her, that he's just not interested in her. So she's like, this is painful. I really care about this man, but I'm gonna cut my life, my, my, I'm gonna cut my losses. And, you know, man, you know, like, it's like you're moving away from him. He's seeing that all this, all these things that he did, like, made you actually move further away from him instead of closer to him. His intention was to bring you in, pull you into that drama, get you addicted to him, get you stuck in, like, a toxic cycle or pattern with him, get you to chase him, to compete for him, all of that. Um, and then you moved away from him instead. You're like, no, I guess this man doesn't like me back, obviously, because if he really liked me, he wouldn't be playing these games with me. He would actually ask me on a date or, you know, he would do something to let me know, uh, you know, that he's interested. And so since you haven't seen any of that from him, all you've seen is this, these toxic childish, you know, patterns and behaviors to get your attention. You're like, okay, I guess he doesn't like me. Um... And it's really kind of sad and ridiculous because if he were to actually just come forward with a love offer, like you would probably be open to him. You know what I mean? Like if he were to actually just, if he were to just message you and be like, hey, like I want to hang out with you or hey, like how is your day? If he were to show you some like empathy and consideration and assertiveness, um, effort, like I feel like you would be really turned on by those things. Like you would find that very sexy. Like you would find that like, that masculine energy, like going out, like a man that goes after what, what he wants. That's very attractive, very, very attractive. You know, a man that's like, I like this woman. I'm going to pursue her like that shit's sexy, you know? So, <sighs> but yeah, it, it's like, he just wants to play these stupid games. Oh, ridiculous. Um, what else? What else? What else here? Yeah, if there's a third party, you just feel betrayed. And I feel like he's recognizing that and ending third party situations now. I feel like he's the one that's having this anxiety now because he's like, oh, damn, I really fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's like he has this new perspective. He has this... I almost feel like you made him face his toxic patterns as well, because in the past, it's almost like those toxic patterns were justified, you know, like how we were talking about, like, let's say he made, let's say he would try to make another girl jealous, but it would like work, you know, this other girl wouldn't blame him. 
she would blame the other woman and she would get competitive with the other women. And then he would have two women fighting over him. And he was like, cool, it's justified. Like, this is how, it, how the world works. This is how relationship work, relationships work. But I feel like with you, it's like, you were just hurt. Like you were just really hurt by him flirting with other girls in front of you or, or dating other girls or whatever. Like you didn't get in, you didn't get involved in the drama. You just felt crushed. You just felt like, like abandoned, like you just felt sad, you know? And so he, he didn't get that, that intense reaction he wanted. He didn't get you to compete for him. He just hurt you. And so I think now he kind of feels like a dick for that too, because he's like, he's forced to face that pattern now because that tactic that he used didn't work on you the way it worked on other women. So now he has to like look at himself and be like, wow, I just hurt this girl that I'm actually into and I did it for no reason. Like it completely backfired on me. Like it didn't even, it didn't even go how I thought it was going to go, you know? Um, I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm going to do a part two to this reading, but I'm going to do it. It's going to be posted um, half an hour after I post this reading. So if you guys watched all the way, it's it's now after 30, the 30 minute mark. So if you guys go to my channel page now, that second part of this reading will be posted up. I just feel like there's another mess, like another big message that we're going to get into. So instead of doing like a whole hour long reading, I just want to split it up because this is like, this is like a whole nother can of worms. You feel me? Like there's something else here. Um, because what I want to look into next is how, what he's going to do to get your attention back. Now that he's recognized that this doesn't work on you, that these, these games don't work, that you're different, um, that he has to really look in the mirror and, and, you know, acknowledge that he's been kind of an asshole. Um, I, I just, I want to see what he's planning on doing next to get your attention. Because I'm actually getting two different stories here. For some, I feel like he's going, he's tired of being patient. He's tired of waiting. He's tired of, it, it's just like everything just didn't work for him. So I almost feel like he's going to try to get your attention in an even more toxic way, unfortunately. And that's going to really backfire on him. Like that's going to end with you almost hating him. Um, for others, though, I feel, and we're going to get into both storylines on, on in that reading. But for others, though, I feel like he's actually going to really make some changes for some. OK, like so he's going to make those changes either way. For some, he's going to have like one final attempt to get your attention in the way that he's used to getting attention from people. And it's going to be super fucking toxic. And then he's going to realize how much he hurt you and how uh, it's like he's going to hit rock bottom and he's going to see that he really just crushed you, that he really just really fucking hurt you. And then he's going to try to make those life changes, most likely. For others, he's just going to go ahead now like he's seen enough. He already wants to make those changes. So we're going to we're going to get into that. So just, yeah, check my channel and it will be up right by now. If you've watched this whole reading, then it's, it's up by now. It's the most recent reading on my channel. So thank you guys for watching and thank you for the support.